It is a truly tragic indictment of the current state of affairs of American politics that perhaps the thing that the current president of the United States and leader of the free world is best known for around the globe is his use of social media. The Twitter profile of President Donald Trump has been the subject of an unholy amount of public and media attention in the two years that he has resided in the White House, most of the time, of course, for all the wrong reasons. However, a group of savvy students may have just found a way to put Trump's Twitter habit to good use. 19-year-old Oslene Johnson teamed up with her friends to try to get the president to change the law on documents for civil rights cold cases and, amazingly, they were successful. There has been a proposal in the works for a long time to create an archive of documents preserving information from all those old civil rights lawsuits. However, because of the insanely bureaucratic way that our government works, the proposed bill had been sitting on the side for decades by this point, and if politicians did not act quick, it would expire, so those documents from those civil rights cases would be lost forever. The students at New Jersey's Heightstown High School, led by Johnson, were not about to let that happen. So, they decided to try to reach the president using his very favorite medium, Twitter. They started incessantly tweeting at him, his friends, his close aides and advisors, and essentially every White House official and Trump ally they could find. Johnson was extremely passionate about the cause in hand. When you really looked at it, it's about providing closure for communities, families, and also as a country, she said. They're still with us is dot another student, a 17-year-old senior by the name of Srihari Salvramanian, said, it's just atrocious that these individuals have gotten away with crimes committed decades ago for so long, even though the majority of Americans know it's wrong. We think it's very important to provide a sense of closure. Even if we can't get a full sense of closure, maybe provide some answers to the people that were denied justice. On the one hand, it is tragic that we have now reached the point where children are having to take it upon themselves to campaign for political change. On the other hand, though, this gives me a great deal of hope about the future.